The Basin Reserve is an iconic part of Wellington. It's uh, one of the first things that you see when you come through the tunnel from the airport. This uh, old pavilion that was built in 1925 is very much part of the iconic nature of the ground. So the fact that the City Council um, had the foresight and were prepared to commit the money in the long term plan to redevelop it so it now can be utilised. It, uh, it houses the offices of Cricket Wellington and it will soon uh, house the New Zealand Cricket Museum again and it can seat around about a thousand people for events, obviously not just cricket events, but the view from here is spectacular and it just adds to the whole iconic nature of the Basin Reserve. The Basin Reserve was redeveloped in 1980 with the change of the shape of the field and the Vance Stand was built. But from that time for the next sort of 30 years, uh, there was little done in respect of the maintenance of the ground and, and this old pavilion was um, uh, in, a, in a pretty poor state. So uh, a decision needed to be made because on the, on the one hand, uh, there was the opportunity to preserve a historic building and part of the iconic nature of the basin, but also the seating capacity was required so that the basin could maintain its standing as an international cricket ground safety of the building was compromised because of the, of the roof, so one of the big um, uh, pieces of work that needed to be done was to replace the roof and strengthen the roof. In fact, the museum was still able to operate until recent times, so there wasn't any danger to anyone's security inside the building, but obviously if there was a crowd in the stand, then there was a, a risk. Yeah, well, my favourite heritage building at, at, uh, at the basin is obviously the old stand, because that's where we used to get changed uh, when I first started in 73, uh, 74. Uh, the RA Vance stand there, of course, wasn't there. Uh, there was a grass bank along there that we used to get changed and sit out on deck chairs to watch the game. It's slightly different now. The biggest upgrade um, at the basin is basically the advance of the RA Vance stand. I mean, the changing rooms now are uh, a lot bigger, and, and I understand that they're increasing in the size, so you can actually when we had them, uh, you only needed only eight, 12 people in the team. Now they got about 40 odd people in the team. And, uh, and the changing of the, uh, the angle of the wicket, I think it's a lot better. The outfield now is, looks beautiful. I mean, it's a real honour to have uh, the pavilion at the, at the Basin Reserve named after me, not, not only for myself, but for my kids and grandkids. When they come and watch or play here, you never know. The views from here are superb, they're slightly off centre, but um, there aren't any pillars really in anyone's way, so very, very complimentary. And I, and I think the fact that the uh, historic building has been restored is fantastic, but we've actually got an asset that can be utilised is also important. This stand's clearly been here for nearly 100 years, so it is probably the most iconic part of the ground from a historical point of view. The shape has only been the shape for uh, for 40 years. Prior to that, it was a rectangular ground. So the, the lasting feature is this old stand. Obviously, the best test of the venue in the world has got to be the Basin Reserve. I mean, there's not too many grounds in the world now where you've got a grass bank to, to sit on. You know, they're all concrete jungles. And this is a, is a proper cricket ground. It's not, uh, you know, it's a not a multi-purpose ground like some of the other ones around. So people enjoy and you're close to the game um, and people come along here and enjoy the game of cricket.